Hey, what's going on guys? Wap here bringing you another Iron Man progress video. As you saw in the last episode, we did a lot of Slayer. In this episode, we're going to do a lot of Slayer. What are we going to get? Hellhounds. I am going to ban those. Okay, now that I've wasted basically all of my Slayer points, I think I'm down to like below 100 or something stupid. So, please give me Abyssal Demons. Or more Steel Dragons. Alright, 274th task done in a row. Get something fun. Come on. Some, something fun. S some, something fun. Um, that would be fun, but I just did a lot of Cow Fight Queen today, so probably just gonna skip this. Okay, canceled that task. It does feel pretty horrible canceling that, but you know. What do we get? Cave Warriors, 198 this time. Uh, we just did those, but yeah, I'm kind of running low on points, so I kind of got to. I might start using. Neve just so I can get some fast tasks and boost some points or something. I don't know. Jeez, three unique items, and I'm pretty sure every single one of them is a placeholder. Rip. Ah, Bando's page. That's cool. Wait, wait for it. Wait, wait for it. Yeah. Okay, so Solid randomly hit me up and wanted to go on a Dagonoth task, or Dagonoth trip, whatever, it's in the middle of my task, so. I figured it's not worth trying to get a Dagonoth task just to go to Rex, so hopefully I can get a ring. I am... I don't have the... Oh, wait. KC... Oops. KC... Dagonoth... Rex. Oh, there it is. Okay. I thought I typed it in wrong. Uh, 207, and no ring, so that's pretty damn unlucky. So hopefully I can get one. Yes! Oh my god, 230 kills. I am happy. Okay, I finally got my Berserker Ring. Gives me the grats. Alright, you're gonna get the pet this time, clearly. Oh, that is fantastic to get. I was like, starting to get demotivated. This guy gave me luck. Hell yeah. Let's get the Warrior Ring right back to back. Alright, did a few runs of Nightmare Zone. I actually got really lucky this run. I was in there for probably, like, one dose of overload or something. As soon as I started the floor, I just spawned two inadequacies, like, right away, and then, like, I think I had, like, two more. There we go. That is the Berserker Ring imbued. I'm actually going to buy myself some more scrolls of redirection. Probably, like, 200 is probably good. And, um, yeah, that is going to be just absolutely fantastic for doing, uh, Slayer. I don't, I don't know why. I just woke up. I can't talk. But yeah, basically, now I can do Slayer about pretty much the max efficiency. The only thing that I'm missing to have maxed Slayer gear is like an Amulet of Torture and like, or a Fury, I guess. And like, um, freaking, whatever you call it, like Tacits. <laughs> so yeah, this is amazing to have. I mean, I have basically maxed Slayer gear. I mean, like, hell yeah. Ignore those clicks. I forgot my agility potion for my farm run yet again. This has happened probably about four farm runs in a row. I'm gonna train some agility. I'm gonna get at least 73 while alking my battle staffs, like finishing off those. I'm just getting tired of forgetting my agility potion and having to run all the way over here. Like, I completed this diary for absolutely no reason. Come on. Hey guys, uh, I'd like to give like a really quick little shout out to Ninja RS. Like, he has been supporting my videos for a really long time. I think probably when I was like really low subscribers, probably around when I started my Iron Man series. And I never even knew that he made videos. I feel really bad. Like, he has, like, 5,000 subscribers. His videos are really good. So, if you guys want to check him out, I, uh, this is my apology to you, buddy. I'm sorry that I have never watched your videos. I am binge-watching the hell out of your videos right now. But, yeah. this is uh, Just a quick little shout-out. Go check him out. He's pretty good. Another thing I've noticed that I haven't really been doing is I haven't been giving bank updates, really. And I'd kind of like to change that. I'd like to do some bank updates every... At least every few episodes, just go th straight through my bank, show you guys where we're all uh, where we're currently standing and stuff. So yeah, this is how I have my bank organized right now. I'm sure you see it all the time in these clips, but basically, right here I just have all my runes and just stuff that I need quickly. I usually replace this with kind of whatever I'm using for whatever skill I'm doing. Like if I'm doing, I I don't know if I'm doing you know law rune crafting, I'll move the logs up here, stuff like that. Um, just farming stuff. I don't really use super compost anymore. I mostly do my farm runs with lunars. Lots of seeds from Slayer and, and stuff. This is all from Mole. 
seven sp uh, spirit seeds. That'll be some good farming experience once I get there. Uh, these are just my saplings. Yeah, nothing too special right here. Dragon bones, which I use for my dailies. I have my Mauritania legs right there for when I do my daily uh, ectophile stuff. And then just my herbs, all that good stuff. These are my grimy herbs. Um, and sold heads. Uh, chinchampas from when I was hunting. I'll probably use those at Armadil at some point. Uh, just general junk. This is kind of my junk tab. Just basic stuff. Saplings. They always end up at the bottom when I make new saplings. Uh, kind of my achievement diary stuffs. Dark totems. Yeah, this is all just junk pretty much. Then I have my magic tab, which is still... It's kind of empty right now because I don't have very many magic items. And uh, just some general teleport stuff, like my Ring of Wealths and Skills Necklaces and stuff. And uh, my teleport tabs, I use these a lot. I would recommend getting these a lot for clues. Cemetery teleports are very useful for clues and for, um, for like, crazy archaeologist magic potions. My four inches stash for my freaking uh, Chaos Fanatic struggles. And then I have my Herblore tab, which I just basically have it organized where I have my unfinished potions, and then the herb, and then the ingredient right next to it. So, these are the herbs I have right now. As you guys saw, I did tons of herb lore, so it's kind of empty right now. And I also have my Taverly teleports for runs and botanical pies for when I'm boosting, and my tree roots, which are actually looking pretty nice right now, I'm not, not gonna lie. And then I have my food tab, um, running kind of low on quite a bit of stuff, I'm gonna have to do a lot of fishing pretty soon. And tons of potions, I'm very happy about these. The potion tab is, is looking pretty good. I'm probably gonna have to clean some of this junk food out. Uh, pretty soon because my bank's coming kind of running full and bonus speeches as well pretty cool and this is my skilling tab obviously i don't do zolra yet so skilling tab's kind of empty but uh yeah quite a bit of good stuff got some emeralds pretty awesome my battle stabs which i definitely need to get around to alking probably gonna do that in the next clip actually and i think i have some yeah you you longbows that i need to alk as well and this is my range tab Got some good stuff, I guess. Robin Hoods. I also keep my imp in a boxes here just because I bring those to wyverns with me. And I use range of wyverns, obviously, so. Uh, yeah. Carol's Coif. Hell yeah. This is my melee tab. You guys probably see this tab like 300,000 times every episode. So, yeah. This is just random combat stuff. This is kind of my... Another junk tab type thing. I use this for, like, my elite clue items and the stuff that I haven't put into hidey holes yet. And then just my excess barrows items I don't really need. Um, yeah, then this is just my loot tab, pretty low right now, 24 rune battle axes, so that's pretty nice, and um, I alk these pretty frequently when I'm doing agility and stuff, so don't have a build up too much, and then my clue tab, which you guys see a lot as well, so yeah, there's my bank, um, pretty organized as of right now, I'm actually pretty happy with it, but yeah, I'm going to start showing you guys that every once in a while, as you can see, it's worth about 119 mil. Anyway, this is the longest clip ever, so I'm just going to go ahead and move on. Alright, here's gonna be 73 agility, assuming I don't get just... Hey, yeah! It was two experience more than I needed. Alright, so that is... I no longer have to bring uh, energy potions to... or er, not energy potions, agility potions to like anything, so that'll be really useful for my farm runs so I don't keep forgetting stuff. I don't feel like the biggest noob in the world, so... Yep, uh, back to Slayer, I guess. Alright, finished our cave horror's task, and... Turidel, you know what I want. I'm not gonna ask for it, but you, you know what I want. So... Since you love me, you're going to give me exactly what I want. Screw you, Daredel. Alright, round two. That You just, you messed up, right? You, you meant to hit Abyssal Demons, but you gave me Greater Demons instead. Alright, those, those are basic. Those, they're kind of demons, I guess. Oh, I need to cure this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that would happen. That just... That would happen. Alright, who, who should I give this to? Who needs it? I'm gonna find somewhere. I think I'm gonna give it to this guy. He, he's actually slaying, you know, he's got the... Got the anti-dragon shield. Merry Christmas. Oh, Christmas. Whoosh. And then I vanish into the night. I'm like Robin Hood right here. Except I'm not stealing anything. Yeah! Okay, that is a beautiful clip. I know I need the Ancient Page 1, but finally we got Ancient Dehyde Boots. These are actually really expensive. I think they're pretty rare, too. Um, they are 
essentially like one less than ranger boots and they give a prayer bonus so they're about they're like i'd say they're probably overall better than ranger boots the only ones that are better are probably purgation boots they would be taking the cake but yeah as you can see 27 range bonus with those compared to my 23 from that and an extra prayer bonus and a little bit more defense so that's gonna definitely be what i'm wearing uh probably for like zora for really everything in range and just to confirm this isn't the right page is it no i need the ancient page one but yeah, that is amazing. And a Peaceful Blessing, which I think is a placeholder. I'm going to check my looting bag. Uh, no, it is not. So, yeah, that was an amazing clue. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, random 77 prayer coming in from the Bone Crusher, as you do. Um, that's cool. No! I missed the... I don't know what that was. I missed the clip. 90 attack. It's amazing. Trains and defense. Probably get to like 85. And I, I've told you the plan 40 billion times. There we go. 290 stats in combat. Actually, all of my 90 stats are in combat right now, so that's pretty cool. Alright, finished that task. I actually got a clue. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing clues like in between tasks. I'm just going to do it whenever I bank. Like, I'm not going to leave specifically to do a clue now that I do have my boots, because it's not really worth the time. So, yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know that. Please give me something good. Eh. I might just do like a little bit more Zammy, maybe? I'm not sure. I I'll, I'll think about it, but... Not sure if I wanted to Zami right now. Alright, last kill was the Zamorakian Spear. No, back to back. Worst game ever made. Okay, this kill was a struggle. Can we get... Ah, uh, oh well. Alright, another kill into the bag. Dragon Dagger Poison Plus Plus. I don't know how rare that is. Probably not rare, but... If it is, I'm going to be very upset. Or are you kidding me? I just got a Zamorakian Spear off the minion. Um. What the hell? I don't. Okay. Uh, what? I don't. I don't have any words for this. I'm sorry. I know I'm pissing somebody off. Oh god. I feel like a horrible person because of this luck. God damn it. All right, Bodie. I'm coming for you when it comes to Zamorak luck. Give me that stuff that did. Ah. Oh. Okay. You almost died. This is the biggest struggle of a kill ever. Why am I getting hit 21s? What is this? Can you please stop? And then that was the smoothest kill ever, so awesome. Have a play potty, as always. Okay, looks like we're going to be able to get a 3 kills enemy trip. It's pretty awesome. Rune skimmy. Not bad. Okay, I gotta risk it. I, I have to risk this. Come on. Yeah, 3 kill trip. Hell yes. Come on, give me the, give me the stuff that the dead. Just do it. Damn. Another really smooth smooth kill for 84 blood runes. Hell yeah. Come on. Okay, we got it. Oh god. Oh god. Please don't be a staff of the dead. Please don't be a staff of the dead. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that was really dumb. I mean, that, that, was, that was beyond dumb. Anyway, I did over 10 kills. Uh, I think I did 11 kills, actually, so. I can actually just call that it for the task. I'll just do it. Kills whenever I feel like it. So got another Zami Spear. No staff of the dead, unfortunately, but yeah, that was very lucky. I probably should have died right there. Anyway, I'm probably gonna skip this task and just get another one. All right, Daredevil, what you gonna give me next? And before Zami task. Ooh, yes, that is what I need. I haven't had an AFK task, and I haven't had a like fun task forever. So let's go ahead and do this. Sweet, 78 farming coming in. I'm out of really good herb seeds, so sadly. Probably not going to be getting any levels for quite a while, but yeah, it's pretty impressive. And my farming levels have really gone up ever since I started doing tree runs again. It's pretty awesome. Alright guys, just decided to knock out full Lumberjack now that it takes like four seconds. It actually took me about 15 minutes to get the full Lumberjack. Remember on my main when I was spending, when I spent like two days getting it, I had like 30 pieces and didn't have the full set yet? Yeah. Oh well. Okay, I finished that wyvern task. Uh, I got some dragon plate legs, no elite, no visage, unfortunately. What are we gonna get now? Okay, Tazar. I don't really f feel like doing a jad task. I really don't. Yeah, I'll just stick with Tazar. And if... All right, I might skip it. I'm not sure. All right, what are we gonna get next? Something good. Finally! 130 Abyssal Demons. Okay. I'm gonna do a bit of Sire, I think. I will try, maybe... 
I'll probably try like 10 kills or something. Um, just, you know, because I can. See if I get a really lucky random thing, but if not, I'll just do regular Abyssal Demons, because that task is very long, very painful, and I don't really have the stats for it, so yeah. Wish me luck. Okay guys, I did three kills, and yeah, I'm already tired of this boss. I don't really have a reason to do it. With my stats, it's kind of hard. I'd re much rather have Blood Barrage, mostly to save inventory space, and maybe get a Rune Pouch, stuff like that, and Blowpipe to destroy those things faster. So I just wanted to, you know, try out a couple kills, make sure I could. I got a Rune Full Helm, 250 Law Runes, and a Talisman, which is pretty rare, which made me kind of sad, but yeah. Uh, I'm just going to finish these off at regular Abyssal Demons and get myself an Abyssal Dagger, obviously. Alright, finished that task. What, what are we going to get? We're about 25k off of 86 Slayers, so that was completely irrelevant, but Dagonoths. Now, I think I might try a bit of... I'm not sure, I might try a little bit of just kind of like Tribird DKs, mostly focusing on Rec or on Supreme and Prime. Not too sure how that'll go, I might just do like one trip and see if it's if it's like completely horrible, I won't even bother, but I might try it. Okay guys, so I went in and tried Prayer Flicking and messed up and didn't get the clicks right and died and didn't feel like going back and learning, so I'm just gonna wait till I have better gear and I can just YOLO through the task with like Blowpipe and stuff, because I suck. Anyway. Oh, there we go. Thank you. See, Duradel, now you're being a champion, because, yeah. Anyway, uh, as far as hard clues go, I think I'm basically done with them. I have everything that I need from them. Uh, I have all my god dehyde. I have, um, you know, I have, like, gilded. I have a bunch of really, basically everything that's really legitimately useful from hard clues. So I'm only going to do them if I'm really bored, but right now I'm really not going to focus on them because if I want to get god pages, I could just camp level 1 or level 2 clues, and I already got everything that's useful from them, and they really do cut into my Slayer XP, and I do want to just kind of rush 87. Maybe after 87 I'll play it a little, or I'll do those a little bit more, but right now I don't really feel like wasting time on clues. Alright, I actually caught a level 86 Slayer coming in. That is amazing. Uh, this task is great. I'm using the arc light on it right now because I'm not really using charges for very much. I've already finished my Zamorak and I'm not doing Sire for quite a while. I actually hit a 51 earlier this task. This guy, this guy actually like pointed it out. He's like, wait, you're a 51? What is this? But yeah, um, some pretty good ex XP. I think I'm going to be using this on Abyssal Demon and Necreal task tasks because I kind of have pretty high defense and stuff. So plus I can get some strength XP in, which is pretty nice. And that was the best flick of all time. But yeah, one more to go, and we will be done with Slayer for a very long time. That's really nice to have. We can start the Zolra escape. Hell yeah. Oh, hey, my second whip. That's pretty awesome, I think. I'm probably only about 600 kills, I would assume. I couldn't see it. Let me, let me check. I was going to pause it, but then this kind of showed up. Uh, yeah, 702 kills, and I have two whips now. Just complaining about my luck, and there we go. <laughs> Alright, that was the 280th task in a row, so we actually got a 75 point bonus. See what we get next. Skeletal Wyverns again, hell yeah. I think I'm going to melee them from now on, because that is quite a quite a bit faster, and uh, yeah, I'd rather I'd rather just, just melee them, because it's faster. Like I said. Alright, finished that Wyvern task. Actually, that was probably like the worst loot I've ever gotten from a Wyvern's task. Like, nothing good, barely like anything. Like, no battle stabs, no D legs, no elites, nothing. Trolls. Okay, can I get my granite shield now? That would be absolutely fantastic. Alright, finished that troll task. Unfortunately, no granite shield. I hit the tr table, I think, three times. I had a rune kite, a... and I think two war uh, rune warhammers, so yeah, it kind of sucks. Fire giants. That is pretty damn good. Alright, we're coming in on 82 defense, but uh, this task is actually amazing now. They basically, since they updated uh, the, like prayer experience that you get. You get, I think, two prayer points, two or three or four. I forget. I'll, I mean, we'll see here, but it's like you get a ton of prayer points back every kill. I'm actually using Protect Melee and Piety right now, and I'm getting like tons of prayer points back. So how many is it? Yeah, it looks like it's four. So that's pretty crazy. Anyway, 82 defense. Hell yeah. Shout out to the best name I've ever seen in this game. Alright guys, so I finished off a totem, so I just teleported out before I finished my task, and I decided I'm gonna go ahead and buy myself a Void Mace, which might seem kind of weird because I'm working towards getting a Trident, but 
I'd like to do a bit of barrows, um, and I would like to get experience while I'm doing barrows, and just in general, because I have 8,000 blood runes, and I never use these for anything. And I would like to get my magic up, because as you know, your max hit on your trident goes by your magic level, so I'd like to get at least like 90 plus, something like that. So this would be like the best way for me to train my magic, and I can autocast that, and blah blah blah. So, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to Barrows, or if I'm going to kill Scotizo first. I'm not sure. Alright, the return, I think it's like chest 302 or something. Give me that Guthans War Spear. Ah, 301. Damn. Chest number 302. Alright, chest 303. Ooh, the clue troll. Hell yeah. I don't... I said we'll finish this later. Did I not get the thing? I don't know. Because, like, I killed him and he healed at the same time. I think he counted as him, like, living or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's do this elite. Alright guys, I'm going to end the episode here with this bunch of progress. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, feel free to leave a like. That really helps me out a lot. Next episode, hopefully I'll be able to be getting 87 Slayers, starting some Zora a little bit. Um, I actually attempted a couple Zora kills with magic only, just for the diary, to see if I could do it really quick. But after failing like five times, I realized I'd rather just wait until I get a trident, and then I should be perfectly fine. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, you're uh, weird. Anyway, see you later. Peace.